Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm at the Capcom bar in Shinjuku. Videography was not allowed in the bar, but photos were A-OK, -okay, so expect the majority of this to be kind of like a slideshow. So the ordering system here isn't like your typical bar or pub where you just tell the server what you want and you order it. You have to find the number corresponding to your food or drink item in the menu and then write the quantity next to it. The first drink that came is a Street Fighter inspired one, and my friend is a huge Ryu fan so he ordered an alcoholic drink based on that character. It's fairly simple looking and I'm not quite sure what the ingredients and everything are because the menu was in Japanese, but I think it was a soda like Sprite mixed with vodka. This would be an easy idea to do yourself at home if you're a fan of Ryu too. The next one is from Devil May Cry and the character is Dante. It's a very cool looking drink because it's dual colored and there is a glow in the dark ice cube. I took another close up shot because I wanted you to see the detailing on the cup itself and I think it's made from what I remembered a slushy type texture. Doesn't it look great? I didn't have any character preference so I just chose the grandest looking drink in the menu. This is from Phoenix Wright and the character it's based from is Miles Edgeworth. It's so colorful looking, again with its dual color, but also with rainbow jelly bites and then a guitar on top. The guitar is actually made with simple syrup, it's not just ice, which I appreciated because it didn't really dilute the drink too much. And the taste of this one reminded me of black currant, kind of like Rubina. Second round of drinks, we started with one from Biohazard, and it's one that you got to mix. The ice is shaped like a brain, and you got to inject part of the mixture, which I thought was a very fun idea. The last drink we got was Phoenix Wright himself, and it actually came with a little figurine. But sadly, you don't get to take the figurine home. It's great for photo ops, though. We didn't plan on having dinner there, so we only ordered one dessert to try. From Resident Evil is the brain cake, and it actually tasted as good as it looked. The blood was raspberry jam, and the dessert overall wasn't too sweet. It was a sponge cake on the bottom, a vanilla mousse, I want to say, and then a berry center. It was very delicate, and I would recommend you order it when you go. If not to eat, then for the awesome photos you can take with it. I want to mention that the utensils they gave us also looked pretty cool. My overall impression of the Capcom bar is if you're a huge fan of even just a couple of their games, you'll definitely have a nerdy good time here. The place is smaller than I expected, but considering it's just meant for people to chill and hang out, I guess it doesn't need to be three floors tall. Maybe it was the day we went, but I was surprised to see mostly females in the bar ordering drinks. And maybe when you go, you can tell me if it's a more balanced ratio. There's tons of accents to the bar and even a video game station, so if there isn't a lot of people, you can definitely hog the controllers with friends. Food and drink wise, yes it's a little pricier than most, but the quality is definitely there. I'm a huge fan of sweet drinks and everything I ordered was satisfying, and maybe next time if I go back, I'll order some food to try as well. Heads up about the Capcom bar, you do need to reserve a time slot to go in, I'm assuming because of the small area. We didn't know this ahead of time so we just kind of booked a spot right there and then walked around for a bit, but if you can find the number and you speak Japanese, by all means see if you can book place ahead of time. It's maximum 2 hours inside and don't be late or your spot will be cancelled. There's also a ton of merchandise you can buy, and it's also based on putting a quantity number next to your item number on an order sheet. I'm not sure how many of you are interested in this, but I also tried to take a picture of the entire food, drink, and merchandise menu. Just so if you're iffy about whether it's worth going for you, you can take a look at the full selection. I also thought it'd be a nice memory for me, even if I didn't order a lot, I remember what they look like.
That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe and join me on my next adventure. See you next video. Bye!